Um, this video is going to be about the most influential thing that I teach customers and clients um, when it comes to achieving optimal health. The thing that influences you the most out of six main things that I teach people, and that is your mindset. The way that the belief systems that you have that do and don't serve you, the way that you communicate with yourself, the way that you communicate with other people, the thoughts that go through your brain, it's super duper important. It's way more influential than anything else you could, anything else that you can think of. And with this video, I want to teach you five particular things, five steps that are going to be able to help you to create rapid change, whatever it is that you want to be able to do in your life. A life coaching tool that I use and teach to people all the time. That I've seen amazing things happen from. And for a lot of you that are wanting to be able to um, create some massive health changes this year in this decade, being January 2020, um, when this was filmed. Um, Keep watching this video, I'm gonna teach you some cool stuff. So within the skill sets that I have as a holistic health coach, I commonly put on my hat as a life coach and also have a lot of tools as what's called an NLP practitioner. And these five steps that I've basically learned from my main mentor named Matt Catlin in Manly, Australia, who's taught me a lot of this sort of stuff, so I thought I'd definitely give credit to him for, uh, for with regards to this, because I didn't come up with it. But basically when it comes down to it, there are five steps that you need to be able to go through to be able to create change in whatever it is that you want. So let's relate it to health because a lot of you here are here on this particular group to be able to improve your ability to do a lot of different things with your health. So step one, step one is commitment. Letting go of the exit strategy. That's basically what commitment means. So if you're really wanting to create massive change within your health, whatever that is, whether it's losing body fat, or getting rid of some sort of dis-ease that isn't serving you, or it could be just clearing up your skin or doing more exercise. Essentially, it's about you committing to it and not letting anything waver between you and your goal. So step two is release. The idea of letting go. Letting go of behaviors and negative emotions and sabotaging behaviors that just do not serve you. At this particular point, personal development is definitely a pretty important thing that's going to be able to help you to go through this particular stage. At this stage, you might also need help from coaches, psychologists, other friends that basically have walked the path that you wish to tread. So be open to this stage and be open to being able to improve yourself in a lot of different ways, mentally, physically, nutritionally. So step three is all about focus. Focusing on what you want rather than what you don't want. Sounds easier in theory, but I know a lot of you out there because I talk to people like a lot of us all the time that are very, very good at being able to say, I don't want to be A, B or C. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be unhealthy. I don't want to. Great. So what do you want to be then? And a lot of people get pretty stumped at that stage because they're so used to saying what it is that they don't want that they forget what it is that they actually do want. So step three is about focusing and, and taking different uh, measures to be able to make that happen. So it could be the simplicity of being able to make, say for example, a vision board that you can actually see every single day that helps you to focus on what you want, or recording your voice um, in present positive tense of things already happening in the future to be able to help you to actually focus on what it is that you do want. Step four is surrounding influences. Surrounding influences talking about the whole idea that you really are the average of the five people that you associate with the most. So if you want to be a healthier version of yourself, suffice to say if you've got friends that you've had for a very long period of time and they're pretty unhealthy and they're not serving your ability to be able to get to where you want to go to, then think about, or not just think about it, action it, think, um, think about that action, the ability of being able to actually hang around different people that are going to help you to get to you to where you want to go to. It's, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, why would you go and learn how to be rich from someone that's poor or, or learn how to be healthy from someone that's unhealthy? Step five, our last step is action, okay? Knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. You actually have to do something with that information that's in your head. Our beautiful community has so much information here that can help empower you for free to be able to make the best version of yourself. So don't just read all this information and become really good at rehashing it and talking it to someone. Actually go out there and apply it to yourself. None of it's gonna happen unless you actually put it into action. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Comment below, tag someone else below as well that you think could uh, benefit from hearing this video. Have a cracking day.